resume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. and comics collide. Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hi, and welcome to Kablam! I'm Henry. And I'm June. Yeah! We're your hosts. Tell them what they've won, Henry. We're not game show hosts, June. We're not? Then I'm keeping this brand new car. Every week, we bring you a bunch of the blammiest cartoons. Like, like today's topic, Bigfoots, who love too much. Stop it, June, you're confusing them. We're not talk show hosts, either. Oh. Well, I need that. We're your guides to this and every issue of Kablam! We are... Proud to present our pageant winner, the new Miss Junior Beast. Don't mind June. She's just excited to be on TV. But here's what we do best. We turn the pages for you. So brace yourself for action. Here's our first comic, Action League Now. Action League Now, starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to melt. Today's episode, Where Pigeons Dare. We find our heroes at the funeral for Helena the 22nd, queen of the pigeons, whose reign was tragically cut short by a chance encounter with a Buick LeSabre. The queen died with no heirs to her throne, only four eggs in a nest. Ah, quit screwing around, Meltman. We've got an important assignment. You guys have to protect those eggs. Don't worry about a thing, Chief. Action League, away! I told you guys not to play catch with the eggs. What are we gonna tell the chief? Sorry, Melty. I guess I don't know my own strength. There's nothing I can do. This is how you protect those eggs? The future of the whole Pigeon Dynasty rests on our dang injection molded shoulders. I want 24 hour surveillance and I want it now. Meltman and I will take the first shift. Action League! Away! It's freezing, Meltman! I'd loan you my sweater, but it's fused to my skin. Do you think the eggs will be okay? Maybe we ought to move them inside. I don't know. What if we break them? Relax! We're superheroes, remember? Let me know when I can let go, okay? Yeah. Yeah? Yes! Okay. Ow! I don't know, Thunder Girl. What is the difference between Meltman and a sack of manure? The sack! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. You're early. This will never work. You can't replace pigeon eggs with grade A jumbo. Relax. When the other eggs hatch, everybody will be so happy, nobody will even notice. Hey, what happened to the other egg? Here comes a car! Hey, you kids! Put that down! 
Will the Action League get there in time? Or will our soft-boiled superheroes end up with egg on their expressionless faces? Stay tuned for the action-scrambled albumen of Action League Now. That's it? What happens? I gotta know! We'll just have to wait till later on in the show. Just because we're hosts doesn't mean we get special privileges. Now what are you doing? I'm trying to melt. You know, like Melt Man. With the power to melt. That's impossible. Melt Man has special training. Besides, we may be professional comic book characters, but we're not superheroes. Henry. Don't say it, June. All I was going to say is, here's our next comic, Sniz and Fondue. Captain! Why do your optic sensors give liquid? They're called tears, Gembor. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the old gal. back up. We'll run out of oxygen in here. question to ask me? No! Oh, all right. Plummeting planetoids. Yay! Plummeting planetoids! Fruits! Fondue! Mama loves her baby. Mama's gonna make his dreams come true. Captain! Captain Slack's all hands on deck! We've got a situation! Whoa! There are many other space rangers who want autographs, too. Please go to the back of the line. But this is a level one emergency! That's cute. Now go to the end of the line. Okay, who's next? Hey, hey, my wallet! Come back here. You little klepto. <coughs> Catch! Yes, yes! Sniz, why are you stealing? I thought you went to get help! I did, but clipping the wallet was the only way I could get the cowardly, phony oh. Captain Slacks to help us! I'm gonna call security. You, you didn't bring the real Captain Slacks here, because if you did, 
I'd be rescued in seconds flat. So don't try to make me feel better by telling me you brought in. Shapiro. Shapiro. Warp speed 10. Plummeting planetoids. Oh, Snez. You tell it true. I'm actually being saved by... Captain Enrico Slash. Okay, see if you can jump high enough to grab my wrists. There's no way I can jump that high. Come on, only Class A starfighters allowed on this vessel. I'll show you an A. An A plus! <laughs> Amazing. Hey, wait, I... Whoa! Man, I said, enough of this crud, and pulled the jump to hyperspace. Speaking of hyperspace, what do you say we go warp speed 10 to the dealer's room, huh? Ab Shapiro Lutley. Again and again. Oh, hey, Kablamoids, keep your derriere in your chariot. Still to come, life with Loopy, Angela Anaconda. And more action lead now, right here on Kablam! Kablam! Welcome back to. <laughs> nice try, June. Let me try again. Okay. Welcome back to. <laughs> while June tries to make the perfect kablam sound. Remember, we're just moments away from the exciting conclusion of Action League Now. But first, here... I did it! Here's life with Loopy. Hi, I'm Larry. This is my little sister, Loopy. And this is Mom's Mystery Casserole. Every Friday night, we've had to eat this disgusting concoction. But we've never been able to get Mom to tell us what's in it. If I told you, it wouldn't be a mystery anymore, would it? Now, to Loopy, this kind of logic is hard to swallow. And last Friday morning, she just couldn't stomach it any longer. I gotta know what's in that casserole! Now, Loopy figured if Mom had secrets, she was probably keeping them in that pantry of hers. So at precisely 0800 hours, she crossed over enemy lines. Nothing seemed too suspicious at first. But before long, Loopy started to notice that a lot of Mom's food was definitely past its expiration date. Unfortunately, the next thing to expire looked like it was going to be loopy. Ah! What kind of food is this? It's small, but it ain't packaged. Yeah, disgusting! Dehydrate her! Freezer! Put her in a can! Can, can, her, can, her, can her. Get your canned hands off of me! Stop! <laughs> you fools! Are you blind? Can you not see that this creature is related to the great chef herself? Be gone, you cretins! I would like to have words with our honored guest. Who are you? I, I am Sir Sorcelot, Lord of the Pantry, King of the Condiments. And you are a naughty little girl. Huh? You couldn't wait till dinner time, could you? Well, my dear, your diligence shall be rewarded. Go ahead, taste me. What? Go on, don't be shy. <laughs> It's you, the secret ingredient. Guilty as charged, I'm afraid. It is I, fabulous, fabulous fish sauce. Delicious, nutritious. And pukier than slug slime. What? I've never been so insulted in my life. Don't just stand there, you cretins. Can this tasteless creature. Have any last words? Yeah, yucko. I bet you're the worst tasting food in the pantry. I'd rather eat pickled yams than you. 
Hey, did you hear that? How dare you? How dare you compare me with this common pantry pablum? Why, it's bad enough I have to rub labels with these loathsome cans of cut price slop. I'm the king. I'm the tasty one. Me! Me! Me? Down with the king. He's giving us a bad night. We taste better than he does. Throw him out of the pantry. Ah! Help! The food is revolting! See ya, Saucy. Let's not do lunch sometime. And that was the end of Mom's casserole. Yup, thanks to Loopy, Friday nights would never be the same again. Sorry, kids. No casserole today. I thought I'd try something new. Mom's pickled yam loaf. What you doing, June? So whipping the crowd into a frenzy for our next cartoon. Anything I can do to help? Nope. Just hold on tight! What for? Cute. Action lead now. When last we left our story, Pigeon Queen, dead. Heirs to the throne, doom. Will it be over easy thanks to two hard-boiled breasts? Eat you, yuppie scum! Uh, what do you think? Change it, it's the action league. Clear! Come on, breathe, darn it! <laughs> It's over, Meltman. You did everything you could. Let's get back to the nest. There's still one egg. There's still hope. Ow! What now? We wait. And so, with the fate of Pigeon civilization hanging in the balance, the Action League conducts their lonely vigil. Get up, you lazy sons of plastic. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Those eggs hatched last night. One prince and three princesses. Uh, Chief, they haven't hatched yet. Have two? I just came from their nest. Their nest? Wait a minute, then whose nest is this? You okay, Meltman? Relax. I look great in snakeskin. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Kablam! Hey, Kablamoids. Now's the time in our show where we take a look at some surprising shorts. Hey! Surprising! <laughs> Not those kind of shorts! This kind! Shooby dooby wah wah wah! Oh. My name is Angela, oh. and you are not! Nanette Manoir is a stuck up jerk oh. face knot! And now, to today's story, starring me! and not starring Nanette Manoir. My mom doesn't usually drive me to school, but the dryer broke, and I missed the bus, and I had to wear my brother's underwear. Which I don't care, because today is our class picnic, and my dad has let me borrow his authentic Air Force aviation solar sunglasses, and nothing can ruin my day. Nothing except, ugh. It is her, Nanette Manwa. Manwa. Pronounced like an idiot, and she's not even a French. Can't you even dress normal for the class picnic? And so what if you sit next to Johnny a body? He still loves only me, Ninny Poo. Good morning, children. Is everyone ready for our class picnic? Yes, dear? 
I'm more than prepared. Mm. But at the moment, I'm in direct sunlight, and you know how sensitive my skin is. Oh, dear, and you are just as fair as a china doll. Um, Mrs. Brinks? Yes, Angela? I'll trade places with her. My skin isn't too sensitive. Well, that's actually very thoughtful of you, Angela. Cool glasses. But take off those ridiculous sunglasses, miss. This isn't Baywatch. Mrs. Franks, since the chewing of gum isn't allowed, I wonder how come there's all this chewed up chewing gum under Angela Anaconda's desk. How can somebody who isn't even sensitive have sensitive skin? Is what I would like to know, Mrs. Briggs! And anyway, who cares about our stupid class picnic for the class? When it's gonna get really hot. Angela, Angela, help me, help me! You will tell me. Let me borrow your dad's aviation glasses that you so intelligently brought in case of a heat wave, my best friend, Angela. Sorry, I can't hear you. I will tell her. On account of I got gum stuck in my ears because they're so sensitive to the wind. Why, Ninky Winky, you're as red as a spaghetti sauce. Here, this fresh-made bug juice will cool you. Look out, Nanette! You are now getting attacked by a million twit-seeking stinger bugs. Here, let me protect you in this, my dear best friend in the whole world, Ninawatha of the Dimwits. Now you must be careful of the steepest hill ever that we just happened to. Oops. Watch out for the municipal sludge treatment plant below. <laughs> Ugh, repulsive. I can't believe you're wearing boys' underwear, Angela Anaconda. But our laundry wasn't finished, and, and I was late for school, and I had to... Whatever. Excuse me, please. I believe I left my homemade gelatin in here, which all the children and Mrs. Brinks are dying to try. <laughs> Wait till they hear about your boy's underpants. Chew on that, you giant loser Nanette Manoir! Woke Oblamoids, we've run out of action and we've run out of time. What's with you? Every show, right about now, we come out here, turn the last page, and then it's all over. But, but what if we didn't turn that page? We could, we could be on forever! Get a life. I'm doing it, Hanksky. Are you with me? like we're going into overtime. Hey, turn those back on. Oh, come on. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. <laughs>